if you want to find out how I designed this, this, stick around because that's what we're going to do in the next 15 minutes. In honor of the masters going on right now, I wanted to create a quick video of how I would recreate the masters logo in Fusion 360 for 3D printing. First thing I'm gonna do is I'm going to insert and come down here to an image. Um, and I'm gonna select the logo that I want. I'm gonna start with on top here and select this face. And right now it's pretty small, so we are going to Zoom in a little bit and increase the size just a little bit. This is our transparency. I'm going to keep that kind of low still. And we are going to try to scale this up a little bit by grabbing this corner handle. And this is going to be two times, so probably somewhere in this two times the size and we'll say enter. I'm going to use two tools just to trace this out and make it look, uh, should look pretty good when I'm done. And it's not gonna be an exact replica because I'm gonna allow the 3D print to give me this detail down here for these edges and for the hole. Um, I'm gonna start with our uh, fine point spine tool. I'm just going to zoom way in and I like to find a nice straight spot. And again, does not have to be perfect. We're just trying to go, go right before the turn, uh, somewhere in here, right after the turn, before the turn, after the turn. And if you've ever used any sort of Adobe tools, this is going to make really good sense to you. If you haven't, good luck, play around with it and you can slowly start to learn how to, to trace these. So I'm gonna trace this in, and when we come back, you will be able to see kind of what this rough sketch looks like. Okay, so now I've got this rough cut in, and if I turn this off, you can see it looks close, but not really that close at all. So I'm gonna come in here, and we're gonna move these handles around and try to look at what's going on with this. So I'm gonna shorten this one up, try to get everything, and I am gonna try to move these right onto the edges. Um, and so I'm going to go through, clean up all these edges. Okay, it looks like the hard part is done. You turn this off, should be able to see. Looks pretty close to what I'm looking for. Now I'm gonna come in and finish this logo with a 
circle here. And I'm just going to come in and do a two point circle. Grab the right circle. And it looks like this is not a perfect circle by any stretch. So we're going to have to definitely manipulate this a little bit. Um, so what I'm going to do is do a quick command Z and we are going to create an ellipse from this point here to this point there and somewhere in there. All right, now let's see if we can shrink this down a little bit. And that looks pretty close to perfect. So let's do one more ellipse. Grab this white. Looks like we need to stretch that out a little bit. And I'm okay with that. All right, hard part, basically done. I'm gonna add in this flag and then we are gonna do the extrusions and make this look really, really good. I do want to very quickly put a center point circle around this um, just to try to give it a little bit of a background to build off of. So I'm going to try to center this as best we can. Somewhere, somewhere right in there is where I think would look really good. And now I'm going to add in our lines. Um, I'm just going to start right here on this one. Pull up to the top. I'm going to actually pull all the way here and I'm just going to round this here in a second. Okay, that looks pretty good. Um, just add a little radius here and here and push those in using our radius fillet tool inside of the sketch. And I do want to do this flag very quickly. We should be good. We should be able to make this work. All right. So there is the basics of our logo. Now we're going to go do some extrudes. So we're going to say finish the sketch. And the first thing I want to do is I want to grab this section here. And we are going to pull this down to match with this green section here. So we'll select it. And we go minus one i'm gonna actually kind of kick us to the side so we can see what we have going on here a little bit and i'm thinking somewhere around this two millimeter mark should be pretty good um actually we're gonna pull this up two millimeters we're gonna build this whole thing up from the bottom uh, i'm gonna grab this section we're going to turn this off for a second uh, and I'm going to turn this sketch back on. We're going to grab this section and we are going to pull this down one millimeter. Okay. Looks okay. Um, now we need to fill in where this cup is at. Uh, so we'll say, okay. So now we've got our background, we've got our cup and you can see there's a nice hole in them but it's looking pretty good. 
So I am going to print, when I print this, it's going to be a white background followed by a green background with a yellow top. And so this section needs to be pulled up here, here, that section, that section, that one, and then I have a straight line here, so I'm gonna make sure we use that. Okay, so all of this needs to be pulled upwards, but not to the height of the yellow. So we can, you can see here I pulled it too far, so we're gonna come even at, at two and come down to make this 1.5, 1. 1.5. 1. 5. Okay. And now the last step is to pull this section. I'm mean, gonna actually, this is gonna be our very, very top layer um, is this flag. And so I need to pull this, there's two, and then we're gonna go 2.5. So it is gonna be our very, very top layer and say, okay. And if you notice, I'm missing one layer that I need to pull up to level with this white background. So we have two little sections we need to grab. here and here, and we just need to pull that up one millimeter and say, okay, there you have it. There is the master's logo recreated. Now, this looks, doesn't look like much. When I get on 3D printing this, you'll be able to see exactly how close this looks like it is to the actual master's logo. Thanks for sticking around to the end. If you have any questions, please leave them down in the bottom as a comment. Um, we appreciate everybody sticking around. This is something that I like to do for fun. Uh, just build these little mementos and let me know if there's one that you want to see me do. I've done a bunch of uh, NBA, NHL, NFL logos, and I really enjoy doing them.